Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to run Feed the Beast, launch it for the first time, set up your account, uh, get the client all ready to launch and roll, and then install extra mods like Optifine, shaders, texture packs, etc. So the first thing you're going to want to do to install Feed the Beast is you're going to want to open up a new tab and go to feed-thebeast.com uh, and depending on the operating system, you want to download click download, either go and download your download or download the jar or download the exe depending on your client. If you run Windows you want the exe um, and then Linux and Mac you want the jar. So most people you want to download the exe. This will download the FTB launcher. Show this in folder. Normally you can just double click this or click this and it will sit on your first launch of the client it will prompt you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the first launch it's going to prompt you this is the first time you're running this launcher please set a directory the directory is going to be where you want to put all your mod pack folders where basically where feed the beast will locate and place all of your different mod packs all the different files and edits things like that uh, I would recommend maybe somewhere under desktop creating like a folder for feed the beast clients or, or somewhere else wise so that'll show you that'll basically set up your feed the beast next um, you need to create a user account so you'll come down over here and initially you won't have any accounts. You'll click create a, create profile, type in your Minecraft login username, uh, the password, and then you can name the profile. Once you're done, click add. Then you should be able to select your profile to launch. You will need a premium account, guys. Feed the Beast does require a premium account. Um, so once you have that set up, you can log in. Uh, then another, well, another thing you want to make sure you check uh, is you want to go under your options menu, and you're going to want to... Oh, I should probably allocate more. You're going to want to allocate more RAM. Depending on your computer setup, this RAM allocation will be really low. And Feed the Beast does require a lot of RAM. So you should probably make sure you know how much RAM your computer has to allocate. And this is the maximum amount of RAM that Feed the Beast launch will be able to launch. I would recommend 3 gigs. It should never hit 3 gigs, but just in case, if you have the RAM to spare, it's always nice to allocate extra RAM. So always make sure this is turned up, say, past 1 gig. Um... You can, you can do other things too, like show console. Generally, you want to uncheck this if you don't want to see a lot of console spam and errors. Uh, if, you have of, if you're having a lot of errors when running Feed the Beast or trying to set up initially, yeah, it's good to have the console showing so you can tell exactly um, what's wrong and you can use the cop you can copy paste out of the client too, or out of the console so you can show people what's wrong and they can help you fix it hopefully. Um, so after you get that, uh, that's pretty much. That's pretty much the installation. Now, from here, you're gonna want you'll see a bunch of all the mod packs that are offered directly from the Feed the Beast launcher, um, anywhere from the challenge packs to standard mod packs, all this fun jazz. Um, when you when you're on the right pack that you want to do, all you do is click launch. The first time you launch the pack, it'll download all the mods, and it'll put them into the basically the folder which you set to be your directory. Um, I stupidly put mine in my downloads folder because I never changed it. So you'll find here under mine, my ultimate pack is here, Minecraft is here, all the different versions are in my downloads, unfortunately. So it'll install and put in all of your mods and con base config files, all that fun jazz, into that folder. Once that's done, it'll launch into the game and you should be good to go. Um, also, so then once all that's done, you're good to go for that. But say you want Optifine or any extra add-ons or mods. Say the server you play on has a mod pack, but you use... Um, say they use extra mods. To do that, you're going to want to close out the game, relaunch the launcher, and then select the pack that you want to use, and click Edit Mod Pack. This will allow you to change the built-in jars and all the files that you use. So it should have all the base files and mods here. And then you want to do... Um, if it's a normal mod like Miscraft or things like that, you want to click Add Mod. Find it wherever you may have put it, downloads folder generally. Click on it. Say if I want to add the bucket jar, this is just for example. Uh, we click open and it'll add bucket jar directly in. Now since I don't actually want this, I'm going to disable that. So that's under the mods tab. Say you want to add Optifine or shaders, you're going to want to do the same thing, but put them under jar mods. Here you can see my Optifine is here. Same thing, add mod, find the mod, click OK, and it should automatically add them to your jar mods file. Now that's basically how you put Optifine. It's really, really simple. Optifine, shaders, um, those types of mods go into the jar mods. So that's how you install a mod. Um, and then finally, well actually, what I'm following, um, finally, you, to put in texture packs, it's the same deal as Minecraft. You're going to want to, either you can do it in game with the Minecraft, uh, with the texture packs button, or you can do under your um, directory where you have all your clients. You go to the pack that you want, ultimate, 
Minecraft, and you can find the server or the texture packs file right here. And this is where you can put it. And you can see here I have Sfax uh, 128 with the built in um, add on for Sfax for Feed the Beast. So I have all the Feed the Beast textures as well. Um, so that's where you'll find that. So that's your texture packs. And then finally, say you need to down, say say um, you're playing on a server and they're using a different version of that um, mod pack. So say you're on the updated version and they're not updated yet, you can change the version of mods that the pack actually uses by say, so for example, say Darwell 20, but they're using an older version. You can come over here and click this right here where it says recommended, and you can select the version that you want of that mod pack, and you click it, click launch, and it'll then edit all the mods in there with the proper mod jars that you'll actually need and it takes it takes care of it all for you um, and then but keep in mind when if you if and when you do that it will delete all your mods so you will have to come back edit mod pack and re-put optifine and optifine shaders anything else that you might have added initially you will need to put those back in there so remember to do that before clicking the launch um, other than that I believe that should be all the information you guys should need to play V the Beast and you guys take her easy